Hey friends, welcome to another video from the Adventure Van. Today I've got a really cool new solar product to show you guys. This product is going to give us some really great options for our adventures in the van as well as our off-grid cabin. This right here is the Fuji RV flexible thin solar panel and this thing is capable of 200 watts of input for our solar generator that powers this van. Now there are three specific things that I absolutely love about having this power option. I'm going to walk that through you today, show you how it connects and what kind of power we're getting in the winter sun that we're experiencing right now as well as our quick review. Now, as you can see, the panel is fairly large. This is roughly the size of some of our 230 to 250 watt solar panels we have at the cabin. Only the thickness is just microscopic compared to what we have in the solar array up there. And that's where the first huge benefit comes from these things. They're just highly portable. Now, the way that Bougie RV designed these is with these little grommets around the edges that you can see. And these are what can hold this into place either on an array or even on the top of the van. You also, because again, the thickness, are able to use some really nice adhesive. And then this can actually mount to any flat surface like the roof of our camper or or again, the roof of our adventure van. Here's a quick look at the specs. As you can see, maximum power input is gonna be 200 watts. Now again, we have to have perfect conditions for that. And so that's the one downside is a panel this size in your normal big thick panel is gonna get 200 all the way up to 300 watts for this size. So you're sacrificing a little bit of power input for that flexibility and the portability. So flexible, lightweight, and again, the second major benefit for this is the portability, the ability to move it anywhere the sun is at its maximum capacity for input. So if you have it permanently mounted on your roof, no problem, you just need to make sure you're parked in a sunlit area. So let me show you what I like to do with this specific panel. I like to stick it right in the windshield. Again, as long as we are parked in our camping spot and we're faced towards the sun, this offers a really great opportunity to be charging while we're camping. You can see how nicely it fits even in our really large van windows. Again, we have some sunshade protection now and all of that solar input that we can plug into our power bank. Okay, now that we have our solar panel up in the windshield at a really good angle to receive all that solar input, this is where the third benefit of these panels come into play. They're just super easy to connect up to our power generator. Now the connection for these are in the back usually. You can see we have this little power panel, and if I open it up, over here on the left is where we're gonna find our XT60 input for solar panels. Now the next thing we need are some cables that can go from the solar panel into our power generator. That's gonna go out of our solar panel. And then to get into the power generator, we have this XT60 connector, MC4 to XT60. Okay, so we'll connect everything up to the Bougie RV solar panel. We've got our negative or black line to the negative here. You can see it's marked. We have our positive or red line over here to the positive. And then we'll come down here and we can now plug our XT60 into the back of our power generator. Okay, now that everything is hooked up, we can check and see what kind of wattage you're getting. Remember, this is not in the optimal position where that solar panel is right now. So let's see again in less than optimal conditions, what kind of power we're able to pull. I'm gonna hit the little display button here and we've got 94 watts are pulling. So nearly half of the capacity, again, in this suboptimal position where the solar panel is right now. But again, that is great free energy for us that we can gather while we are enjoying our camping experience. Okay, I've got Aspen the Adventure Pup with us and I wanted to show you the difference if you are going to be using this in an environment with a nice good sun ray. So I've got this pointed at our winter sun right now. It's coming down into our power station. Let me just hit the display here. And as you can see, we're pulling 162 watts of power right now. Again, that's not perfect, but that is because we're not really in the best sunlight environment during this season. So again, when you're setting this up, if you're wanting to get that full 200 watts of power, remember that you do need to have this 
set up in the best possible manner to grab all that solar energy. So there you go, friends. That is the Bougie RV 200 watt flexible solar panel. This thing is really, really awesome. It's got some amazing features compared to normal, really thick solar panels. Yes, it's a little bit limited on power wattage, but for something like our van, where we don't use a ton of energy, this thing is gonna be absolutely perfect. If you wanna grab one for yourself, you can get it right here on Amazon. We'll put some links in the description box below. And then if this video has helped, hit that thumbs up button. Stay tuned, we do a ton of solar review videos for products that we use in our adventure van as well as our off-grid cabin. Stick around, a bunch more videos are coming out soon. We'll see you again on the next one.